Hi, I'm Paris. Welcome back to another Food and Drink Wednesday. Well, in order to get into your food and drink when it comes in containers like this, sometimes you really got to struggle to open those lids. Well, what if there was a robot that could do that for you? Not quite a robot. It's an electronic jar opener called the Robo Twist. This is an As Seen on TV product that says it can open up most of these things, but I think we just might stump it. Let's try it out and see. Epic review, guys. I picked up this Robo Twist in the As Seen on TV aisle at our local Fry's store. It goes for about $20, and you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. We are also going to be doing a giveaway of one of these on Amazon later on in the video. I'll tell you more about that. Now the Robo Twist won't open every jar. I understand there's a limit in the portion that you slide this up into. It has to be between 1.2 and about three and a half inches in diameter. So I've read that it won't work on soda bottles or very large jars. I do have a mineral water bottle here I'm going to try it out on. Also, it may or may not have issues on plastic, like this plastic peanut butter jar. We're going to see. Now, when I picked up the box for this, one thing that I liked was that it felt fairly heavy, which I'm hoping means there's a fairly large motor in here, which I think you need to uh, produce the torque necessary to get off some of those jar lids that get really stuck. Reading through the instructions, it does say not to use it with the plastic jars. But I might anyway, because I read in the reviews that someone did get that to work, but it's not supported by the company, and it may do weird stuff to your jar. I'm curious to see how strong this outer grippy jaw is. You basically fit the jar here, and then it says to press and hold the buttons until the outer jaws make contact with the container, I guess, because it says they'll pause, and at that point, let go of the button. So the inner jaws are now shrinking up, trying to find a lid to grab onto. I'm going to let go. Ah, it's far enough in the process now, it's going to continue on its own. Still looking for that lid. Now looking for the jar. And it's now rotating. So it would be rotating the lid at this point if it had hold of one. Let's release the lid by opening those jaws. And now it would release the jar, opening the outer jaws. A little time consuming, but I think this may actually work. Start out with the jar of pasta sauce. The jar is made of glass. The lid is made of metal. It's completely dry, so it meets all the requirements for having this work correctly. So, like that. I'm, I'm trying to think if Roxana were to try this out, how it would work for her. Now, they, when it's doing its thing, they do want you to hold on to the jar so it doesn't tip over or the top doesn't end up pulling the lid and falling off. Let's see what I can do here with one hand. So I've got it in center. I'm gonna press and hold this until these outer jaws grab on, or it pauses, I guess. It's pausing. I'm letting go. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's working. There's that sound, okay. There we go. Now, it didn't completely unscrew the lid, but it gets it past the hardest point. Nice. Now, I'm not sure if it will work on this. This is glass with a metal lid, but I'm not sure about the size. I'm thinking that might be about an inch. It might be a little too small, but I don't think it hurts to try it out. I don't think you have to measure everything to know. Just stick it on there and try it. If it doesn't work, then you know. The, the outer jaws haven't quite made contact on both sides yet. There it goes. All right, it's doing it. There we go. But it didn't finish. <laughs> okay, I was thinking about it. I wonder why it's doing it in bits and pieces like this. 
because I heard the pop, so I know it actually twisted it enough to uh, relieve the, the, the vacuum inside. But what's with the uh, not going all the way? It's not on there very secure. And it actually did remove and is still holding on to the lid. But it doesn't seem to know that it's done. So for those situations, I think you press and hold the button for a second and it'll go into default mode where it opens back up, I think. Well, it's continuing its rotation now. There we go. I get my lid back. I'm guessing the issue was because the lid was so small, so it may have been below the, the specification that it mentions to use it on. This is going to Jimena, her favorite sweet tea. Let's give it another one it ought to like. This is a Smucker's Simply Fruit glass jar, metal lid, both within the tolerances that this should work. I just want to mention, don't use it this way, holding the jar up in the air. You're supposed to have it on a secure surface. I'm doing this so I can show you. Inner jaws are going, here come the outer jaws. They seem to take turns, one and then the other going. Okay. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> now for a problematic jar. This is the kid's favorite peanut butter, Simply Jif. Plastic jar, plastic lid. They say not to do this, so don't do this. But I want to see what happens. Uh oh. Yeah, now I understand why you don't want to do this. Because it could actually um, deform the plastic, squeeze it enough that it could break it or break, or the portion that the lid screws onto. So, okay, so let's say I've decided. This was a bad idea. Now how do I get it off of here? Just make it go in reverse. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> it's working after all. I was afraid it was going to continue squeezing, but I guess it was just at the point. It's feeling like a robot, like it's deciding on its own what to do here. Because it did turn about a quarter turn, the lid, pretty good. That's interesting. I was able to get it to continue by squeezing the jar, which put more pressure here on these outer jaws, I guess, and let it felt like it really had a good grip. Maybe there's a sensor that if it feels like it's lost the grip with the outer jaws, it doesn't continue to twist the lid, maybe. Now it seemed to me that medicine bottles, vitamin bottles, supplement bottles would be an ideal use for this because it's aimed more at people who may have arthritis and issues with their hands strength. So those people often are taking vitamins and medicine. So it seemed like a perfect combination, but they say not to use it with this. And after my experience with the peanut butter, a little gun shy there. However, I still want to try it with this and this could really go badly. So don't use it with soda bottles. Let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure the lid is too small and it's just going to give up and open up saying it can't find that. Otherwise, I don't know. Because the worst possible thing would be if while the outer portion was squeezing the bottle, it did actually twist the lid off. It didn't reach the body of the bottle. So I don't think I have to worry about the lid. There's nothing to twist it against. Oh no, it found a little more grip. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's twisting. Don't squeeze the bottle. Mm, okay, it's lost its grip on the bottle itself. No, don't make another go at it. You've done enough, okay. I wonder if it actually... No. It must have just been rotating around it. It didn't actually get a good enough grip on it to turn the lid. <sighs> Thank goodness. So that's the As Seen on TV Robo Twist. This worked surprisingly well, I felt, so long as it was used as intended. So these products it had no trouble with. It kind of did this one, though they don't recommend using it on the plastic bottle. And the soda bottle, I think I definitely stay away from trying. 
Again, this goes for about $20. I'll have a link to it down below this video. But also in the description box down below this video, you'll find a link to an Amazon giveaway. We are giving away one Robo Twist to a viewer. It's a sweepstakes type giveaway, which means you go over there, follow the steps to sign up. And a week from now, today is the 2nd of August, should be about the 9th of August, a winner will be selected, notified, and they'll send one out. You can keep checking back for future product reviews, mostly used as intended, or you can click that subscribe button and the bell next to it down below. You'll get notified when my videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic